Welcome to the Wild Unknown Animal Spirit Reading. Today, I pulled the lamb. Peaceful, prophetic, patient. The lamb is the bearer of an important message. Its contents can only be heard when a deep level of quiet has been established. Lamb energy is the honest guidance you hear from an old friend, a young child, or sometimes a surprising stranger. Though the lamb's message may channel through another person, the wisdom resonates within you. It will repeat and reverberate until you listen. Approach this gentle creature with utmost patience and reverence. Truth is a gift. Sit still, listen, receive. When in balance, the lamb's energy has knowingness and inner peace. When out of balance, it is quiet, timid, and concerned. To bring the lamb's energy back into balance, meditation and listening are recommended. The first thought that came to mind for me as I pulled this card were all the things that I've ever heard about the lamb. Some of them being good, you know. And some of them not so good. What have you heard about the lamb? You know, sometimes you hear about the sacrificial lamb. Or, actually, that's the most predominant thing I've ever heard. Leading a lamb to slaughter. Yes, lambs are vulnerable. Those are the things I've heard. So today, having to hear it in a different light is quite interesting. Because it mentions honest guidance you hear from an old friend, a young child, or sometimes a surprising stranger. A young child out of the mouth of babes. There's nothing more honest than that. Which makes perfect sense to me. That level of honesty. Truth. But what got me the most is how the author, Kim Kranz, she says, it will repeat and reverberate within you until you listen. Have you ever had something like that? Where you can hear something and it will not leave you be until you do it? Oh my goodness. That's the evidence of the lamb in your life. Oh yeah. I've had that many times. And just recently, what uh, I had come to understand, I had this image because, again, I was looking in the mirror and I got this story in my mind in a flash. And in the story, it says, what do you do if you're on a crowded sidewalk? And you hear your name. What do you do? And then it said to me, you stop. And you listen. Why do you want to stop and listen if you hear your name? Because you want to gauge where your name is being called from. So that you can turn towards it. And so then... When I read just now that it is recommended that I listen, it made sense. 
sometimes we're so overrun and bogged down with stuff like the people on the sidewalk you've got somebody yelling watches for sale you've got somebody saying come and get this thing everything is vying for your attention but then you hear Angela Angela you can insert your own name you hear your name being whispered everything else around you is overwhelmingly and obnoxiously loud but your name what and who is calling your name? The Lamb, or Truth, is whispering your name. So, if you're going through your day and you feel the whisper, I, I don't think it's something you hear, to be honest, because everything else is so loud so the truth speaks to you the only way she knows that you will receive the message she whispers and you feel her whisper and so when you feel your name being called you stop and you wait and you wait until you hear it again. You see, we also have a negative connotation of waiting. We think that waiting is somehow a passive activity and, and you're wasting time if you're waiting. That is not the case. What are you doing when you are waiting? You are listening. You are paying attention because you're filtering the information that's coming to you. So picture it again. You're on that crowded sidewalk or crowded street and people are yelling trying to get your attention and then you hear your name. You stop moving and you wait and you your ears automatically perk up. There's a fox that has these giant ears. I'll post the link for him. He's got those giant ears. Why? Because that is his strength to listen. So you see, meditation is not just a simple thing of isolating yourself and, and, and going into a cave somewhere or a mountain somewhere to hide or to find yourself. Meditation is the active art of listening. And it's, yes, it is a physical thing, but it is also something that you feel. You feel the undercurrent of when your name is being called. And once you grasp and hear that your name is being called, you start to listen. To what's being said to you so then you start getting direction as to go here or go this way or get this thing or if you're like me I was walking in the mall back in the summer of 2018 and something said go into the bookstore and I was like sure I walked into the bookstore and I heard, go over here to this section, the metaphysical section. And so I did. And as I was walking by looking at that section, my eye caught something. It caught the eye of the deck of cards that I purchased. I bought those cards, like I said, in the summer of 2018, and I've been pulling those cards every day. 
And so one day I was sitting in my bed, pulling the cards, and then I heard that voice again. Record the reading. And I said, sure. (laughs) And here we are today. So you see, that is one experience that happened to me. But where in your life can you pinpoint your own guidance? And remember I said, the guidance that you get is always going to be something that is uplifting to you and uplifting to others because true compassion is never harmful. Even if you hear, leave that situation or take this route home instead of that one, it may come across as an inconvenience. But it is there to protect. It is there to grow you. It is there for you to build trust so that when you hear and feel that voice again of the lamb saying your name, you are confident in what you hear. You trust what you hear because you have got a prior experience with it and you know it. This is why I always say that the meditation is not something you do, but it is a way of life. You are always actively listening. You're actively tuning in. So that when there's a subtle change, which can be that wisdom or honest guidance, when you hear it, you know. So be encouraged today, because I know I sure am, to pay attention and to listen. I'm not being inactive or passive when I listen. I'm fully aware when I'm listening. It is the awareness, the awareness, the little fox with the ears. If he hears the smallest noise, his ears will twitch into the direction that he hears the noise coming from. And he is alert, but he's standing still and he's waiting. So you see, your waiting is not a passive activity. It is nothing to feel like you're wasting time with. Ah, man, I'm almost waiting. No. The perspective of waiting is what has to change. That waiting is there to protect, to guide, to teach. It protects you from harm. It guides you in the direction that you should go and it teaches you trust, confidence, compassion. Because you cannot help but have compassion. Because in that waiting and you knowing and having that guidance, it makes you aware that compassion is had for you. And that's why you're being guided. And what is interesting and what is beautiful is that every single one of us has that little lamb within us. All we need do is listen and wait. So today, if this podcast resonates with you, And you hear that little voice say to you, you know, I need to share this. Then follow through with your inclination. 
because I too had to follow through with the inclination to share. We may not see the big picture, but everything starts with that one little action of listening and following the guidance in your lives. I look forward to communicating with you. And remember to like, share, and subscribe to the links that I will post for you. And see today in your life where you can hear your name. Much love.